Hello everyone, I am the Great Zarin, and it is time for the November-December Slam Crate. Sorry, I had to think about what it was again. Yeah, November-December Slam Crate. The theme was Attitude. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It, don't, don't those usually come with the game in November? Why are you opening it now? Why are you opening it now? Because it was delayed. I'll put a time code if you don't want to hear me go on the story of why this was delayed and the story of being delayed and how good the customer service was for Loot Crate because they were good. So I, I need to take a minute because they did a really good job. So I'll put a time code for when I actually open the thing if you don't want to hear me ramble on about that. So October 24th, they sent an email saying, you know, Attitude will ship in a few days. Wanted to give you a heads up that one of our attitude items had a bit too much attitude, so your W Slam crate might be a little later than usual. Crates will be shipping out in a few days, around the first week of November. If you're subscribers, that means the crate should arrive within a normal shipping window, the first to the tenth, but could be a slight delay for international. And they said, so far I was like, alright, might be a delay. Well, November 8th rolled around, and I was like, I haven't heard anything. Made me concerned, I put in a little concern ticket, put in a ticket saying, Hey, I know the crate was delayed, but I haven't heard anything. I just want to make sure that my order didn't, like, get lost or something. Within a few minutes, I put in the ticket sometime after I got off work at, like, five-something. A few minutes after that, they got back to me. Like, yeah, it's cool, it sucks, we know. Um, check your order, it's all good. So, again, props to them. Later that day, there's another update. Saying, hi, we know we promised you tracking info for the Attitude WWE Slam Crate by the first week of November, but unfortunately we haven't received all the products in our warehouse yet. The good news is we got an update from the manufacturers and should have all the items in our warehouse soon. You can expect tracking info next week. Very sorry for the continuing delay, and we'd like to offer you a $5 loot vault credit. So again, Loot Crate did a great job saying ahead of time, hey, there might be a problem. And then when I put in a concern ticket, they got back to me very quickly. And then they also said, hey, look, we know we promised you this. Yet again, we couldn't deliver on it. We're sorry. Here's something to make up for it. Again, Loot Crate did a great job. I even tweeted at them. And they said, hey, hope you enjoy it. When do you get it? So, yeah, so about the 240 mark. Okay, now I'm going to open the slam crate. So, hit it is. Again, this month was Attitude. The hundred figure was The Rock. And while the thunder has me rocked it with the other eyebrow, but it's close enough, dang it. Also, I believe it came with the Alexa the Bliss shirt, and they also said it comes with something dealing with Enzo Amore, because he has a lot of attitude. Guy needs to shut up sometimes, though. That's all I'm saying. Better be a manager. Anyway, let's open this up. Opening it up. Okay. This crate needs more looks at least. Okay, so first thing I see is the Alexa Bliss shirt that came. Little Miss Bliss. And oh, by the way, yeah, I'm recording this in my closet because mm -hmm. eh, I've other people recording their closet and it works out great. Plus, I got the lamp in here, Light, lighting very well. Hopefully, somebody else has better equipment. I'm rambling anyway. Wicked little Miss Alexa Bliss. Make everything bliss. She's a great heel. She truly is. She's a fantastic heel. The match her and Charlotte had at Spire Series, fantastic. Next thing I saw first. The rock figure. As long as the others, I'm not gonna try to put the ring together. I moved and I still need to find a place for these things. I brought the microphone. Brock was so charismatic. Just, you know, you just watch him come out and just the way he walked out. The best way I can describe it is, yeah, that's right, cheer for him. You had to cheer for him. He just, by his very presence and by the way he carried himself, you had to. Again, him and Austin. I think they're co of the attitude here. Oh, I'm going to at least show the figure and then... Move on to the next thing. Ooh. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, that's the parts for the little ring stand. Let's get Brock out of there. There's Pose. Also comes with his own little version of the Attitude Era title belt. I think Austin should have gotten one, but I digress. My cat's clawing at the door. So you could put it like that. And then his sunglasses. Let's see if we can put those on. I'll see if we can get the microphone out of his eyeball. If you smile, no, 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 no. probably best I'll never be able to do that. I'm not gonna try it again. But yeah. Again, if you're gonna have somebody for attitude crate, Austin's the only other better choice, but they already had him for trash talkers, because he was a great trash talker. So was Rock, though. That's why they're such great rivals. Next up. For the certified G, Enzo Amore. Uh, I believe it's a lunch bag. Open it up. Ooh, it's got a little, uh, got stuff on the inside, so I guess it could, like, you could try to keep it cold. Alright, so. Instructions for it. Uh, spot clean out suitable for machine wash, and I believe should avoid sharp objects and bag. So it's a reusable lunch bag, yeah. As it says, this lunch. This lunch lunch is certified G. Up here it says, and you can't teach that. You guys got this stuff in here, which I think is like to help keep it cold, I guess. So you can put it in the fridge. Very cool. There, is. there you go. Kind of feels like a paper bag. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, next up. Championship coasters. I kind of use some of these. Okay, so we're going to open these up because I'll actually use these. It's like I use the cups that came with the trash talking thing as well. So they're all the same. Okay, so we got coaster that's for the universal title. For the World Heavyweight title. Lesnar and AJ had a great match at Survivor Series. My god, that was awesome. That is... Oh, man. You know, it's just... You can make a very strong argument for that being the best Lesnar match. At least in a long time. Definitely of his whole Universal title run. That was... Oh, my god. The Goldberg little series was great because of the story that was being told, and Lesnar and Goldberg did a great job at this past WrestleMania until they made it up for the garbage that was their 20 match. But, yeah, the Lesnar-AJ match, oh my god. Oh, man. Just, it was it was actually conceivable that AJ may actually beat him. And that's just how damn good AJ is. Just Anyway, back to the coasters. Um, the Raw women's title. And you gotta have the SmackDown Women's title. So four coasters. Awesome. Kind of rubbery, you know? So that's cool. That's awesome. And we got... Ooh, a hot cold pack. That's Enzo Amore as well. For cold pack, store in freezer for two hours. For hot pack, boil water. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Get Enzo Amore, you know, for having a lot of attitude, getting himself in trouble. Him and Cash really need to get back together. Or Enzo just needs to become a manager or something, because, my God, he cannot wrestle. Well, man, he can finish some meat. Okay, so they gave that rock figure the um, attitude belt. Okay, y'all made up for it. A pin, the championship pin for this one is the Steve Austin Smoking Skull belt. Man, that looks scary. And a sure sign that somebody is really trusted and really loved by the company. Because Cena's gotten to 
um, modified the US title and the WWE title became the title for the longest time. I thought it was big and gaudy. But it was his title, he was the man, so again Austin got the smoking skull belt. Um, Naomi. Oh man, Naomi's great too. She got to like make the belt light up and that was awesome. And just uh, put that belt back on her. License to print money. Cause that's just awesome. That's just cool anyway. All right, and then finally we have the booklet to um, explain this crate, and then advertisement for the next month, which I'll get to here soon. So, rundown of what was in this crate: the Alexa Bliss Authentic T-shirt, the Slam Stars Rock Collectible figure. So now they've released four of those. So now you can make a whole ring out of, or I can at least, out of these, out of people of the Attitude Era, pretty much. Four. I think it was Austin, who is a Hall of Famer. Triple H, who will be a Hall of Famer. Undertaker, who will be a Hall of Famer. Rock, who will be a Hall of Famer. So four... You can argue the four biggest people during the Attitude Era are now in figure form. You can make a ring out of it, which is cool. Enzo Amore, a lunch bag with hot and cold packs. So the lunch, lunch bag and the hot and cold pack go together. Championship coasters and the Smoking Skull Championship pin. This month's poster... Those will interview, and I'll get that in a moment. The poster for this month is Bret Hart. Best, best there is, best of us, best ever will be. Interesting they chose Bret Hart for the attitude credit. Surprised they didn't do something like maybe Austin Rock or something, you know. That's more attitude. Bret Hart was new was new generation, but still Bret Hart, I'm not gonna knock it. Uh, the interview for this crate was with Brizango. Passion Files are so funny. I really hope they get title gold at some point, though. Uh, this is very in character. Um, you've both been doing Undercover for some time now. What's the secret to donning such highly effective disguises? Breeze. The actual disguises themselves have to be so elaborate, so realistic, that it hides our true identity. I feel like no one can tell it's me when I'm in disguise. Fandango. Common sense. How do you function being surrounded by uckos all the time? Isn't it exhausting? At this point, I've accepted how it's going to be. I have to let it all slide off of me, or I would honestly never leave my house. And they go, sunglasses help, number. sunglasses help numb the pain. <laughs> I love these guys. Best lifestyle tips for making all of our days H. <laughs> I remember that feud. Breeze. If there is one case that follows me every day of my life, it's this one. I wish I could shed more light on it, but it's one of life's unsolved mysteries. Fandango. Buy a mirror and be honest with your with yourselves. Superstars you would most like to do a makeover to. Alexa Bliss. I don't think she's gotta see enough. Where's her crown? Or worshippers? Or something, you know? But she's cool, I guess. Fandango. 90% of the roster. <laughs> past or present, who are the best dressed superstars in WWE? Breeze. Pass. Gorgeous doors. Gorgeous drawers, elegant, present, Brizango. Fandango, Brizango. Well, of course, they're the best. They're the fashion police, by God. If you were to make a fashion police squad from superstars, past or present, who would you add to your ranks? Oh, man, this is Breeze. Oh, man, um, give us Ty Dillinger. He knows a perfect 10 when he sees one. And Dolph Ziggler, the king of showing off. That'd be a wicked force. Fandango, Big Boss Man, Rick Martel, HVK. All fine choices. Dream match, Brizango, Breeze. If we were dreaming here, um, Brizango versus Brizango. What a match! Fandango, HBK. God. The match that Brizango and Usos had where Breeze kept changing outfits was freaking funny, man. It was hilarious. Especially, especially when whatever little gown dress thing Breeze was wearing got ripped off and thrown at JBL. That was great. What do you geek out about? Breeze, magic, board and video games, movies, animals, Fandango, shopping. Fast facts, doing right now, Breeze is laying on the bed with his animals, Kanga, Tigger, and Roo. Fandango is filling out this paper. <laughs> Smartass. Favorite song, Breeze's Doobie Brothers, listen to the music, Fandango's is Dream by the Cranberries. Favorite lyrics, Breeze, everybody wants to discuss me, so this must mean I'm disgusting. <laughs> Fandango, Dreams the Cranberries. Favorite designer, Louis Vuitton, anything expensive. Favorite disguise, Carl the Janitor and Cop. 
favorite exercise in the gym, wide grip pull-ups, Fandango is sauna and training, favorite TV show or movie, currently the Lucifer and Roadhouse, Fandango is mirror watching, all-time favorite superstar, Shawn Michaels HBK for both of them, I mean, it's hard to argue, he's one of the best ever. Hidden Talents Breeze is a badminton champion and somehow is great at trivia, Fandango is juggling. So, that's this bi-monthly crate of attitude. The next month is Like a Boss. They're going to continue the next series of them with, none other than, Sasha Banks, the boss. I think they also they're going to do, I think the shirt is a Roman Reigns shirt, and they're going to also mention Ric Flair in it, because he does stuff like a boss. Be a little bit surprised if it wasn't something about Vince McMahon. I don't know what they would do. Maybe a poster, because he's he's freaking Vince McMahon. You can't have a boss crate not mention the boss, Vince McMahon. Maybe not. I have no idea. But anyway, that was the November December slime crate of attitude. As I always say, Loot Crate has a bunch of stuff. It's not a paid advertisement. I just think they're great. They have so many things. There's you know, geeky things. I think they've done Star Trek and Fallout. and uh, There's a gaming crate that I'm going to be unboxing soon as well, which had stuff that I needed. <laughs> I'll admit, I needed it. And you'll see when I unbox it. Uh, again, Slam Crate... Uh, I think you'd have until December 15th, I believe, to order this. There might be a promo code float around there somewhere, too. Again, I always think it's worth it. Uh, let see if I can figure out the price offhand. Slam. Slam crate. I don't know why you're giving me other dumb stuff. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this. Loot crate. Because that'll give me what I want instead of... I have no clue why some of these things are going off the rails like that. Uh, make it while I'm here. I can rattle off some more crates they have. Uh, they have general loot crate, anime crate, loot pets, loot gaming, Halo, Minecraft, Fallout, Call of Duty World War II... Not sure why they have a Call of Duty crate. I'm just saying. Um, Harry Potter, Marvel, Stranger Things, Star Trek, and Slam Crate. So I can give y'all a price. So Slam Crates, thirty-three dollars for a month. Um, Thirty-one dollars per crate if you order for three months. Same view as I do. $29 a crate for six crates over a year. Bi monthly, they're awesome. All this cool stuff. Some is even really useful. Again, this is pretty useful. The coasters, very useful. I got cups one time in the Trash Talkers thing. I loved using those, they're pretty good sized. Uh, I think there was a towel that came in the last one. I forgot what its theme was, but um, that wasn't Trash Talkers, so that was something else. I forgot what it was. Hardcore. It was extreme. That's what that was. And again, you get the cool stuff like these figures. I'm not looking at the camera feed right now. I should be, probably, so I can see what I'm doing. And as I said earlier, if you didn't listen, the customer support was awesome. If they think the crate's going to be late, they'll say. And if it keeps being delayed, they'll do something about that. Again, I put in the help ticket. They got back very quickly, within a matter of minutes. Stay on the phone, just go to their site and just put in the ticket and they get to you. It's fantastic, it's awesome. I'll put a link to lootcrate.com and even Slam Crate. And again, encourage you to at least look at them. Sometime in December, I'll be opening the gaming crate that I ordered, and then in January will be time for another Slam Crate. And this one is like a boss. So until then. Enjoy yourself, and I have no clue to end this. Yeah. Subscribe and 
like, and all that typical YouTube stuff.